from the four of the CME group. This is Danny Riley on today's Cash Close. Boy, can you say new highs? I can. And the name of this video, neither rain nor snow nor sleet shall keep the mutual fund buyers away. The high of the day came in at 2075.60. Late in the day, the, lo the low came in at 2065.80 midday. At last, we're 2074.5. We're, we're up 8.5 handles. Total volume, 830,000 minis trade and 2,500 big S&Ps trade in the pit. MOC, the MIM had this dead to right. It started out big to buy. I predicted it would be over a billion to buy, and the MOC came out by 1.3 billion. We've got a lot of numbers coming out and in, in, going into the end of the week, you guys. Tomorrow we've got the MBA purchase applications. We've got the ADP employment cost number. We've got, excuse me, we've got the ADP employment report. We've got the Gallup U.S. Job Creation Index. We've got produ productivity and costs. We've got PMI services we've got the ism mfg index i get this i'm going to nail it we've got the eia petroleum status report we got charles plaza speaking we got richard fisher speaking and we got leo bernard speaking from the fed and last but not least the beige book now look you know i kind of try to warn everybody and i don't think anybody believed it and, you know as as november came to an end the markets didn't look all that great you know a little bit of a down move on friday and then you get a down 15 and a half handle on monday and then lo and behold what happens you get an up 15.3 handle day yesterday and now we're screaming higher late in the day and again what i want to reiterate to traders is that while these seasonal tendencies may not always work out that way i said that whenever a monday whenever there's a, whenever monday falls on the first trading day of the month even though that didn't work that the mutual funds would come heavy into the first two or three days and that's exactly what they've done now the other part about this is the ecb meeting on thursday and they're talking about lowering rates i don't know can they, they they've already been buying bonds at negative rates i don't know how they're going to do this but that said that could be another jolt down the arm in, in the arm on the upside. And then you've got, the, you've got Friday's jobs number, and that could be another jolt on the upside. So all in all, you guys, I think we're well on our way to S&P 2100 and beyond. It's just when do they get a little pullback? You know, today they started to pull back, and they could even, they, again, they can barely even pull back two or three handles. And another thing that I pointed out in the room today, I think that was important, nobody really said much about it, but the S&P was constantly at index our buy programs levels throughout the day. That told me that, you know what, any kind of pullback was going to be a buying opportunity. And late in the day, the S&P came ripping back higher. We're going to leave it like that. It doesn't look like there's much selling going on, and it doesn't look like there's much volume to go with it. But that said, the S&P is going up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the opening print. Mm.